prison does not poison, it is not a poison. If a killer does not kill, they are not a killer. Conclusion! You are not very good at your job. Well, that hurts, you wrinkly, mean piece of mother... What's happening everybody? Hope you guys are feeling great. I'm Team Kills and what I like to do is make gaming easier. And this is a bit of a follow up from my last Google video. A quick look at what I've been doing in all my Kuva weapons. Since that, now that I've finally Kuva completed, actually, <laughs> sounds a little dirty. Why do I think like this? Anyways, if you know me, most of my builds could be a little standard or a little weird. Like the Kuva Brahma for your mama, for example. This weapon is strong enough that you can have fun setting up your mods. Wait, hold on. I don't mean fun setting up your mods. Like, setting up your mods actually isn't fun at all. Like, wee! Space Solitaire. That would suck. The Brahma is a charge weapon. Plus it goes boom. So, I tried to improve on those two things. That's, that's what I suggest to do. This thing will kill whatever you pretty much pointed at, but maybe, just maybe, you want to use this mod? It can really, really help with the kickback. Self-stagger is annoying as hell. It's nowhere near as annoying as self-damage, like that really sucked, but self-stagger is it's pretty annoying. Although the Chakakar, Chakar, there is nothing special with this build. It's a crit-based eraser gun. But power is how I use it. It's really simple. I just aim, shoot, actually I'm lying. I don't even aim. I just shoot this thing. It's really simple. The Seer has a poisonous radial attack. That's what I kind of tried to build for, to improve on that. Now, my personal issues with this weapon has to do with the bet that I lost, but it is good. It's, it's a pretty good weapon. The Brack, it's a better weapon. There's really nothing special, no twists, no radial attack, nothing with this. It's just power and a really fast fire rate. So I built it for power and I shoot really fast. I, I wish I had more for you, but it seemed to be enough for me. I hope it helps you. Now the Nakor, baby. I love me some Nakor. This thing is a status monster. I keep that in mind with all my Nakor builds. I just switch loadouts around depending on which faction I happen to be melting. The enemies, they also explode as well. So this mod isn't necessarily a bad option either, if you can find room. Now the Tonkor is another one of those heavy ass weapons strong enough that you could build for usability, like the Brahma for your mama. <laughs> such a dumb name or a status rainbow murder ball build like it's got so much status so much rainbow and so much murder ball I guess or just power they all work all of them work the dragoon nothing really works on this if you ask me I don't know it, you, you do have weapon specific mods that make you miss more I guess I, I I don't understand. I don't know what. I don't think this thing can be helped. You miss your shots anyways. Um, I'm not a good example for builds on this. I hate this weapon. So, whatever build you have is probably better than whatever build I have. Now, when it comes to the Kuva Hind, the Karakakak, the Comb, and the Stubba Stubs, they're similar in the way where if you don't have a ribbon, I probably wouldn't use them. Like, I definitely, like, I don't have one for the Hind, so it collects dust, but. Like the Tiburon Prime, it has three different types of fire options. Each one would be better with its own personal build. I just go for crit for all of them. So those are the three builds that you could, that would work for it, I guess. Um, this is the only build that I have for the comb because of the Riven. So I use it from time to time. Now the Karakakak is a crit weapon or a power weapon. Both work, you could mix it together and do both. I don't, no Riven, I don't really use it. So, it can use some tweaking. The Stubba Stubs, I lied. You can use this weapon without a Riven, but without a Riven, I suggest you get a recoil mod. These things, they got some kick. They're literally hard to handle. The Kuva Anga, or the Arcwing weapon, is depressing. When you compare it to the other Arcwing weapons, 
but it's still fun. It's a true dually and nice crit gun. A better status gun. It also works for just power. It's pretty versatile, but nothing compared to the Karak. I'm biased, of course, but it is a great crit based rifle. It is a great status based rifle. You can put both those effects together and you still have enough power. Like it's, she's a beauty. It's a great rifle. The Kuva Sledge is exactly the same way. You can build this one for crit and it'll work. You can build this one for status, it'll work. But if you build them for both, oh man, build them for both. It'll work so much better. The, the Kraken, I, I don't know. Honestly, I'm not going to claim it. I do have the time, but I'm not going to waste the time on this. I've mentioned this a couple times in before in some other videos. I hate this thing. The Kuva Ogris is definitely worth your time. It's technically a status launcher, but it also comes with an innate status death. That's not an actual status effect, but it's the actual effect of this weapon. It's got way more than enough power that you could sacrifice just a little bit of power and put some napalm usability on it. If you ask me, that's actually a must. Now these, those the builds I just finished showing, those are what I usually have on my Kuva weapons. I change the elements around depending on which faction I tend to be hunting. Some of these weapons I don't really, they don't really need changing. They just kill whatever faction I'm hunting. But anyways, keep in mind there is no Warframe rules. So tweak, have fun, put your own spin on these builds to make sure they benefit your playstyle and the Warframes that you're using. Plus, I don't use all of these weapons all of the time so some of these builds definitely need some tweaking so get at it and get at me let me know they should get better although some of them i'm getting rid of but anyhow on that note i really really hope this has helped if it has you should join the team of killers become a killer of teams if you're new to the team you could actually i can't think of a word so welcome make sure to keep it easy <laughs> and remember just keep gaming <laughs>